In this video, we're going to look at molar mass. Now, the molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance in grams. Okay, remember, anytime we talk mass, we're talking grams. Now, it's equal to the numerical value of the average atomic mass, which we get from the periodic table. So, if you look at the periodic table for carbon, we see that its atomic mass is 12.01 grams. So, one mole of carbon is 12 grams. We we'll look at magnesium, it's 24.31 grams. So one mole of magnesium is 24.31 grams. If you look at copper, the um, average atomic mass of copper is 63.55 grams. So that's what one mole of copper atoms um, has a mass of. So you may see some different terms associated with molar mass. Molecular mass, molecular weight, formula mass, formula weight. The point is um, all of these terms mean the same number. The only difference is that you have different units. For example, in molecular mass and weight, it's atomic mass unit, or AMU. Um, but again, it's the same number value. Okay, Avogadro's number allows us to do this because we're dealing with ratios. Um, formula mass, formula weight, same goes, but the units here um, would be different. Again, they would be uh, grams per mole for uh, formula mass or formula weight, or I'm sorry, AMUs for formula mass, formula weight. Um, and when you're talking molar mass, we're talking grams per mole, but you find them all the exact same way. So let's look at how to find those. So the mass in grams of one mole is equal to the sum of the atomic masses. So if we're looking at sodium chloride, all right, we see that we have one sodium and one chlorine. So we look at the masses of those two elements. So one mole of sodium is 22.99 grams per mole. One mole of chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole. And if we just add those up, we get a total of 58.44 grams per mole. Now it is actually okay to go ahead and say, you know, 22.99 is 23 grams per mole. That's perfectly acceptable. So um, let's look at another example. Water is a very popular one, and actually you'll know the molar mass of water before we're done with this unit. You'll just know it right off the top of your head. So we're going to use that stack it method, all right, that we've used so many times. So the formula is H2O. Our elements that we have are hydrogen and oxygen. Now we look at how many, which is the number of moles. Remember that the subscripts are the mole ratios, okay? So the number of moles of hydrogen is two, and for oxygen it's one, and we're getting those from these subscripts right here. So now we look at the mass from the periodic table we see that hydrogen is 1.008, and again, if you put one, that's perfectly fine. Oxygen is 16. So now we multiply, all right, because we have two moles of hydrogen, each mole has a mass of one, so we get 2.016 um, as the hydrogen contribution, and 16 for the oxygen contribution, so we add those up, and the molar mass of water is 18.016 grams per mole. Now look at your um, example sheet. This is going to be example three, calcium phosphate. Now what we need to know for calcium phosphate first is the formula. So we do use our, form, our uh, charges rather and we flip them. Calcium is plus two, phosphate is minus three, so we flip them to get a three to two ratio. Now let's look at how many elements we have. Now here you do have to split up your polyatomic ion, okay? You do have to split up the P and the O. So we have calcium, we have phosphorus, we have oxygen. Now let's look at how many. All right, for calcium we have three. For phosphorus, remember this two multiplies by everything inside. So we have two phosphorus and we have eight oxygen. Okay, four times two. Now we're gonna look at the periodic table. Calcium is 40, phosphorus is 31 essentially and oxygen is 16. So if we multiply our moles by our molar masses, okay, we get 120, we get 62, and we get 128. So now we're just gonna add all of those up for a total of 310.18 grams per mole. 
All right, so try this example. Pause the video and try it, and then I'll give you the answer to it in a minute. Prozac, which is C17H18F3NO, is a widely used antidepressant that inhibits uptake of serotonin by the brain. Find its molar mass. Pause the video, find the molar mass. The answer is 309.324 grams per mole. Now, depending on how you rounded, you might get a slightly different answer, but as long as it rounds to the same thing, you are good.